MSNBC's John Hellman managed to make their network look like the joke that it actually is. The thing that was, to me, so striking about today was that kind of comforting sense, even with the masks, even with the distancing, even without the crowd, you know, those shots inside Statuary Hall that we're familiar with, you know, from every inauguration, the, the, the sight of uh, the Clintons and the Bushes and the Obamas, you know, the, the Avengers, you know, sort of the <laughs> Marvel superheroes back up there together all in one place. Well, with their friend Joe Biden, all of them, I think, feeling like that, that all of them sharing that same view that a lot of Americans had, which is that, you know, we did narrowly avert catastrophe in America and that they were all there to kind of, you know, kind of to buttress their buddy Joe Biden and see him in some ways as the as the natural and necessary corrective to what's been going on. And I think the things, you know, you said soaring a second ago about the speech. I agree. There was a lot about the speech. It was soaring. It may have been the best speech Joe Biden's ever given. It was certainly, I, I would argue, the most important in the sense that it was not a political speech at all. It was a speech that had a much higher purpose than that. And I don't want to go overboard and compare it to Lincoln's second inaugural, but aspirationally, that's where it wanted to live. But the thing about the speech that struck me most, and I think is most important. Wow. 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 It's begun. It's begun. I already made a video like this on the other CNN dingbat um, that, you know, almost came on itself talking about Joe Biden's arms stretching around America, referring to the lights um, in regards to the uh, COVID memorial thing that they did. By the way, COVID isn't over. Not sure why they had a memorial. But, um, Wow. I mean, what else can I really say? First of all, the fact that those three men that he's praising there, that a lot of people are praising, are war criminals. All three of them. War criminals. Is that not enough? No, apparently it's not, because when Barack Obama uh, took office after George W. Bush, he didn't prosecute anyone. Not George W. Bush himself nor anyone from his administration. He thinks that uh, the Iraq war, killing innocent civilians, torture, all that stuff is a disagreement. No, we have to look forward, not behind. That's what he said. That's what Barack Obama said. That's what he said. These three great men, I'm not sure that's how they perceive them. I'm sure. You know, my question is what makes them great? The fact that they held office in America, is that it? They were once the president. That makes them great. I, I really don't understand it. I'm not going to go by and list every bad thing that these three individuals have ever done. You can go look that up on your own if you're not already educated on the matter. But the point is, is that how have we allowed ourselves to fall so far that we can fawn over someone that attack the country that didn't attack us. He invaded a country that didn't attack us. Killed minimum 200,000 civilians. There are people that will tell you that he killed a million people. I don't understand. And then the, uh, the other two stooges behind, uh, beside him, I mean, they're no better. Obama with his uh, drone strikes. You know, no, none of these guys got prosecuted over any of this shit. Bill Clinton is literally like the godfather of neoliberalism. <laughs> He's the original. He's the OG. You know what I mean? He ushered in a new form of politics that have fucked so many people over. And is really the reason for the rise of uh, Donald Trump, not him specifically, but that kind of politics. And yet they're being praised, you know. The one, one thing that, that caught my uh, attention when he said was, he said uh, they were recognizing that Joe Biden was the natural, uh, necessary uh, corrective to what's been going on. Is he really? So Joe Biden. So this 2020 was like the year of Black Lives Matter, right? Crime bill Joe Biden that ruined the lives of so many African-Americans. That's the natural necessary corrective to what's been going on. 
Millions of people have lost their health care during this pandemic, tens of millions. Many of you are already uninsured. Millions lost their health care under Donald Trump. People have died from lack of health care. Families are mourning the deaths of their family members from COVID. So Joe Biden, the guy that takes so much money from the health insurance companies and big pharma and what have you, said he'd veto Medicare for all that came by his desk. He's the natural necessary corrective to those problems. Okay, right. You, you see what I'm getting at here? N nothing really seems real anymore. And we're going to have to see this stuff for the next four years. Now, I hope this administration does well. I hope that they help many people that need it. I hope that they get this pandemic under control. I have many expectations. Well, no, I don't actually. I don't have a lot of expectations, but I want them to do good. OK, but when you see stuff like this, it's just it's so disgusting because this is these are supposed to be the people that are supposed to challenge the politicians, the media. They're supposed to challenge these people. They're supposed to let you know and me know when they're doing right and when they're doing wrong. I don't watch the news. I'll tell you right now. I don't watch the news. I never watch the news. I get these clips from social media. You know, like I'll scroll down Twitter or something. After these clips. I don't watch the fucking news. I'm not watching MSNBC frying my brain in the process. Why would I watch that nonsense? And that's a widely accepted ideology among the American people. They don't they don't trust them. They don't trust CNN. They don't trust MSNBC. They don't trust Fox. All the rest. And it, uh, CNN had a segment the other day where they were saying they need to like upend um like like youtube commentators and what have you because they have bigger audiences than like daytime cnn yeah uh because you do shit like this many millions millions of people have suffered at the hands of those three men that you just compared to the, the fucking avengers are you kidding me man i i uh, shit like this gotta stop bro